literally that small ass piece of a tear from the wrapper is keeping it together. I spent the last like two minutes trying to open this thing for that to happen. That That's honestly, that just kind of irritates me. For anyone who doesn't know what this game is, this is Ratchet and Clank up your arsenal and this is like my one of my favorite childhood memories. And I realized I'm on spring break and I've done nothing, so I pulled out the old PlayStation 2 and I, like, it's there. So this is such like a nostalgia trip, it's great. What's up guys, if you're wondering what's going on, why I have a shirt around my head and I don't have a shirt on, it's like really hot in like where I live and in my house. And I was just tanning. That's why I'm pretty sure my chest is going to be sunburnt, which I don't even know why. But, yeah, so that's why this is a thing. I really don't know how it got on my head. It's kind of got here. So, I mean, hey, that's chill. I don't really care. Okay, so if you're wondering what either one of those, like, two little short clips, like, what the food or Ratchet and Clank have to do with this, it doesn't. That's completely unrelated. Okay. So I thought of this thing, and I'm like, I'm a very, like, I like to help people. My throat is so white. Oh my gosh, that needs to get tanned. Okay, that was random. But, so I'm like a really good, like, I like to help people. You know, that's a thing. I want to, like, make people feel better. So, I was thinking this thing. I was thinking, I need to make, like, a, I need to be a life coach. And by life coach, I'm not, like, going to go and get, like, a job. But that's what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to have this series. Like, this will be the first one. It's going to be Life Coach Cody. Like, boom. It has the alliteration. And, you know, it kind of flows, and, like, it'll all be good. So, that's my thing. That's what I'm going to do now. And to start off with this one, because it's really, like, hitting me kind of hard right now, it's, we're going to talk about making, like, life decisions. Like, big life choices. Alright? And so, starting off with life choices, like, this is kind of a big thing. Just because, like I said, I'm going to get sunburned. If you go swimming, but this is going to sound, I'm going to sound like a mom right here. But if you go swimming, put sunscreen on, because you don't want to get sunburned. Because sunburn. Summer hurts a lot, just like, just so y'all know. Okay, so like I said, life choices. This isn't gonna be me here saying like, oh, I know what's best for you. Or like, I'm telling you like, oh, you need to make these decisions for that. That's, no, that's that's not, that's kind of dumb. Because anybody's like, oh, you need to do this or that, or trying to tell you like, what decisions to make. And then that's kind of a load of BS. Because like, you gotta, you gotta make the decisions on your own. What I'm honestly going for is like, whenever it comes to life decisions, just make sure that like you'll be content with it i know this is probably something you hear like hundreds of thousands of times in your life like from your parents and like school and crap but seriously though like whenever you go to make a decision like a big decision is going to affect you like just about anything like a job or going to college or like joining the military make sure that you look into it and you don't just get like don't get tunnel vision like no i'm not talking like kodak black but like don't get tunnel vision don't like don't be looking into this when in reality what you need to be looking at is you need to drop that and everything that's around it is what's important because you really need to take in everything like if you're going to go to college you need to look you know like is the dorm life good is there going to be stuff to do you know like worst case scenario if you don't like it and you're trying to go home you know like you don't want to go to college in california if you live in florida unless you have like a crap ton of money trying to go home and get away from the school is kind of going to suck for you like, that's, that's one thing. Also, you need to make sure that, like, if you're gonna go to, like, whenever you go to college, don't go, like, just because someone's telling you, like, you gotta go to college. Like, don't let the whole, like, oh, you gotta be, go to college to be successful. Like, don't, don't, don't listen to that. That's BS. Like, right now, I'm 17. I have a friend who, he's not even 19, he's 18. He makes $20 an hour, and, you know, he can work 40 hours a week, but because, like, he works, he works, like, 50, 60 hours a week because he can, because, like, he wants to make money. Any hours after 40 is overtime. This kid brings home close to two grand a week. All right. He didn't go to college. You know, like, he wasn't the smartest kid either. He graduated and he got a job. Like, anybody can do that. Like, it's not just, like, he's some special case. Like, anybody can graduate high school and get a good job. You don't have to go to college for it. But, let's say you do decide to go to college. Alright, cool. That's great, you know? That's really good. Like, it's good. You're gonna learn something. But, like, whenever you go to college, you gotta look into it. Like, okay, this college, is it a good college? Like, or do they have good teachers? You know, good courses? And, like, can you afford it? 
That was probably three good things. Because, like, you, could, you can go to, like, I don't know, one I know, like, you can go to, like, UGA or UCLA or, I don't know, or Harvard or some crap like that. You know, those are big colleges. Those are big accredited colleges, you know, like universities and crap. If you go for a job, they're like, oh, this person went here. It's like, yeah. But then, like, those would be a little more expensive. Or you could go to, like, some community college. Think about that. You're going to go to a community college. That's not going to make you very competitive. That's something else. Like, whenever you pick a college you want to go to, you need to make sure that, like, if you graduate from it, it's not just some college, like, you know, Joe's Academy of College. You know, like, that's that's not really going to get you very far. Unless, for some reason, that's, like, an accredited college and it's Ivy League and I just don't know. But, I don't know. Okay, so another thing. Like, life decisions. Just make sure you're informed. Like, if you're buying a car, like, your first car... You shouldn't go out trying to buy like an eighty, ninety thousand dollar car for your first car. So that's that's just dumb. Let's say you're nineteen. If you have the money, sure, go ahead. But don't do something that you know you can't like afford or you know you're not gonna be able to keep up with. Like, let's say I got a job at Wendy's. You know, I'll be making minimum wage. Maybe every two weeks I'll bring home maybe four hundred dollars. All right. Well, now let's say I want. Let's say I'm gonna go buy a Maserati, cause like in all honesty, I want to buy a Maserati at some point in my life. A new Maserati is like a like a hundred and twenty grand for the one that I've been looking at. Okay, so let's say if it's a hundred and twenty grand, you would need to put down like twenty grand on that car. So then I have to have twenty grand. I don't have twenty grand. All right. Let's say I try to make payments. Yeah, maybe in a month I make eight hundred dollars. But then once I get that car, I gotta pay the car. I gotta pay like. Uh, tags and like regulations on the car I gotta pay insurance as well just because I'm, I'm making the money and I have nothing else to spend on like that would be stupid for me I probably wouldn't even be able to like get finance for the car is one thing but even if I did like I wouldn't be able to keep up with that like I wouldn't that would that would ruin you know make my credit horrible and honestly I'll probably lose the car after a couple months because I wouldn't be able to make payments for it you see like you just gotta make sure like you gotta make sure you know everything and also think about this once you get like a nice like Maserati or like an like an Audi or something like, you can only go to, like, those places to get it fixed. Like, you can't just go to, like, your local place because more than likely they're not going to have the tools or know how to fix it because it's such a nice car. Because that's what they do. You get nice, expensive stuff, and then you got to go to a nice, expensive place to get it fixed because, you know, capitalism is a great system because just for that reason, like, you can, you can only win in some situations. And also, whenever you're getting a car, just make sure, like, don't look at one place because, like, it's close. If you look at one place, you need to see, like, what rates they'll give you and all that. Like, you just gotta, you gotta compare, and you gotta contrast, and you gotta see what offers you more, as opposed to other things. So this is, like, this is a little bit of, like, my life coachiness, and talking about things. The reason I talk about these things is because this is probably something that most people, like, consider, but this is something that I actually, like, I talk about this stuff, like, all the time. Like, me and my parents, like, well, we talked about this last night. <clears throat> And it's like, yeah, like, you buy a car, don't just look at, oh, this is a nice car. Also, if you're going to make a decision, don't get too bogged down on the outcome of the decision. Like, if you're going into, like, yeah, I want this and that to happen, uh, don't. Because <clears throat> there's a very good chance it won't happen, and once it doesn't happen, you're going to be like, wow, that was a waste. Make a decision, but don't expect, <clears throat> oh my gosh, don't expect too much out of it, alright? Because if you expect too much out of it, whenever, like, if it doesn't happen... Uh, oh my god. I don't know where my voice is going. <clears throat> but if you expect too much out of it, and then like, if you don't get what you want out of it, you're gonna be like really disappointed. Alright. So, while I still have a voice, I don't know where it's going exactly. <clears throat> oh my gosh. But yeah, while, while you're doing that, like, don't expect too much of an outcome. Just expecting, just expect something good, but don't be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna make like $120,000 this year, and then you only make 50, then you're like, oh. I just, I just wasted a year of my life and I didn't get anything out of it. You know, like, that's just, that's just dumb. Like, don't be expecting, like, oh, I'm gonna go to college, I'm gonna get out, I'm gonna get a job. Like, you're not guaranteed anything. So, like, because you're not guaranteed anything, like, this is gonna sound, like, negative, which I'm not, I'm not really for negativity on this channel. But, like, if you're, like, if you're doing something, don't, always expect the worst case scenario, in all honesty. Because if you prepare for the worst, whenever the best happens, like, like, you're, you're good. 
or like if you're always prepared for the worst whenever it happens like you know what you're gonna do you're not gonna be like oh my gosh um, I just got I just got hit by like a bus you know like that's okay that's irrelevant but like oh I graduated college and now I don't have a job what am I gonna do like if you think about that like, be prepared for that don't be expecting oh I'm gonna get out of college and go get a job but like yeah there are a lot of programs and a lot of stuff you can do to where like you can but that's not always guaranteed so, I guess, again, what I'm saying is, like, just make sure that you're making a good decision for yourself. Make sure that whenever you're making a decision, you're looking at what you're going to get out of it. Like, you're looking at what you're going to get out of it for what you're going to put into it. And don't get too focused on what you're going to get out of it. Because if you don't get what you want out of it, like, you know, people, like, people have, like, ruined their lives. Because they were, they, they banked everything on one big decision. And then they didn't get what they wanted out of it. Then like, it was done. You know, like pe people have killed themselves for stuff like that. Like, that's just dumb. That's why you don't get too bogged down on one decision. Like, yeah, let's say you make a decision and it's bad. You know, just learn from it. Grow. Next time you make a decision, use what you use the mistake you made there to make your next decision better. You get what I'm saying? All right. Well, with that being said, this has been my first little bit of life coaching, and you know, I'm gonna make more with more topics. So that being said, if you have a topic, you know, leave a like, shows that it's good, leave a comment, alright? So something, so anyway, it's been your boy, Crystal Sparkles, still, that that story will come as to where I got this name from, it's honestly short, but it's funny, and it's a cute story, but anyway, that being said, I hope you all have a great day, and peace.